Welcome to Brain Explained, where we talk about how the brain affects our daily life. This video will talk about the four lobes in our brain. The frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes are the four sections within the brain hemisphere. Specific functions are controlled by each lobe. The frontal lobe is the largest part of the brain, and it is located in the front of the head. The Broca's area, which pertains to speech ability, is also located here. It has control over a wide range of abilities, including personality traits, how you think, move, and recall information. It also plays an important role in your social skills as it helps in developing an understanding and control of how you speak, act, and interact with others. The parietal lobe, located in the middle of the brain, assists in object identification and the comprehension of spatial relationships which is the understanding of how objects and people move in relation to each other. The interpretation of touch and pain experienced by the body also involves the parietal lobe. The region called Wernick's area is located here, which assists the brain in comprehending spoken language. The temporal lobes on the sides of the brain play a role in short-term memory, speech, musical rhythm, and to some extent, smell perception. By sending chemicals from one neuron or nerve to the next, the brain communicates with itself. These neurotransmitter substances can be divided into two groups, excitatory, causing the brain to work harder, and inhibitive, which means they have a calming effect. Your daily mood and functioning are significantly influenced by this constant, rapid-fire messaging and lastly, the back portion of the brain that controls vision is called the occipital lobe. Your occipital lobe's primary function is to translate the information from your eyes into forms that the rest of your brain can understand. For example, color processing, object and face recognition is done by using our eyes. Our eyes pick up what is visible in the environment and convert it into signals that are sent to our brain. However, the occipital lobe is what receives those signals, processes them, and then works together with other areas of the brain to use what you see. A perfect example would be reading. The brain's occipital lobe detects writing and then collaborates with a portion of the temporal lobe to identify the written shapes and symbols. Thanks for watching. View my channel to learn more about the brain and don't forget to subscribe.